Hey, this has been Pokemon Guy, and um, today I'm going to be showing you my Mysteries of the Forest deck. Um, it should have Tangrowth of Lex in it, but I haven't gotten it yet. I'm getting it in a trade, and um, but it should be coming soon. I haven't sent my card yet, but I will soon. So anyway, let's get started. Okay. So I'll start off with the trainers and the energies. Okay. Let's put this down. Bucks training, a level max, two baby search, a rare candy, uh, Pokemon rescue, two black belt, Professor Elm's training method, good rod, twins, Roseanne's research, two, arrival, Pokemon Communication, Pokemon Collector, two Expert Bell, and an Energy Restore. Next, I have five Grass Energies, five Psychic Energies, three Double Colorless Energy, three Rescue Energy, and two Upper Energy. Now for the Pokemon, the Prime or Deck. First, we have Duskull, which is to evolve into Dusk. Dusclops is to evolve into a Dusk Noir, which is to basically to use its hard feelings and get um, those damage counters on the defending Pokemon. Next, uh, Tangula, which is to evolve into Tangrowth, which will hopefully there will be a Tangrowth of X soon, which is to use the Swallow Up. Before doing damage, count the remaining HP of the defend Pokemon and Tangrowth. If the, remaining if the defending Pokemon has fewer remaining HP than Tangrowth, this attack does 120 damage instead, which is awesome. Next, simple, Spiritomb, Spiritomb. Platinum Arceus, the fifth best card to have in your deck. Platinum Arceus, or Arceus. It says, search your, well, basically, this Darkness Grace is what it's for. It's basically, you get to put one damage counter on Spirit Tomb, then you get to get evolve one of your Pokemon, whichever one you like. So, yeah. This next one, Garchomp C, Garchomp C Level X. Garchomp C Level X is basically for the whole thing. Dragon Rush says, discard two energy attached to Garchomp C. Choose one of your opponent's Pokemon. This attack does 80 damage to that Pokemon. Don't apply weakness and resistance for bench Pokemon. Garchomp C can't use Dragon Rush during your next turn, which isn't that good, but once during your turn before you attack, you may put Garchomp C level X from your hand onto your active Garchomp C. You may remove all damage counters from each of your Pokemon SP, which is pretty good. And then this next part is pretty good. Big highlight. Three Ghastly. They're all from Platinum Arceus, which are evolved into Two Haunter, which are evolved into this Gengar. Nice Gengar, which is to level up into Gengar Level X, which is obviously for its level down. It says once during your turn before you attack, you may choose one of your opponent's level X. Remove the level up card from the level up card from that Pokemon. Have your opponent shuffle that card into his or her deck. This power can be used if Gengar is affected by a special condition, which is awesome. And I'll let you read Compound Pain. <laughs> then we're coming on the end. I used to have Celebi Prime in this, but I took it out because it wasn't that good for my deck. Three Yanma. Ah, uh, I like the Reverse Hollow. Two from Triumphant, one from Supreme Victors. And it's weird because this Yanma has the exact same attacks of this next Yanmega, which you can look at that. Supersonic, Supersonic, and Air Slash, and Air Slash. Creepy. Look at those. So anyway, we're coming up on the end of my deck. Then we have a Yanmega Prime, which is basically for both of its attacks and its insight which says if you have the same number of cards in your hand as your opponent this the attack of each 
the attack cost of each of your Omega's attacks is zero, so you can do 70 damage for zero energy. And last but not least, we have Darkrai. Uh, basically, it's for another card, which is the last card in the deck, but... You may have your opponent switch the defending Pokemon with one of her, his or her bench Pokemon. And then you can read that because I'm running out of battery. And then, last one is Darkrai Level X, which is awesome. I'm not going to read that because my battery is pretty much dead, but it's pretty much awesome. It's basically asleep, flip two coins, and boom, your Pokemon, your opponent's Pokemon is knocked out. So anyway, um, yeah, I'm going to have to stop this. Sorry for the hurry, but um, my camera's running out of battery. So anyway, thanks for watching. Maybe I'll get another video of it more clearly. But thanks for watching. This has been Pokemon Guy. Out. I'm out.